Good morning, New Eden! Today is February 20th, 2022, and this is the Federation Frontline Report! A podcast where we interview the players... <laughs> <laughs> we need, we need air <laughs> A podcast where we interview the players of EVE Online and go over Faction Warfare news. I'm your host, Frozen Fallout, and my host is Samson. Co-host is Samson. Yo, good morning, New Eden. Oh, you get the next part now. You remember? You're, you're... Oh, I do. Today, <laughs> we are interviewing a very special guest, Seabronk of the oh, Moose God Army. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and the Test Alliance, please ignore, which we've had a lot of fun with tests in the past, but uh, how's <laughs> space treating you these days, Seabronk? Oh, we're doing really well. We're busy crabbing it up, and our deployment um, out west towards Esoteria has been nothing but victory after victory. Nice. Only nice. good news, huh? Only good news. Of course, Only good yeah. news. Only good news. <laughs> so, so tell me, how, how did you get into EVE Online? What was the thing that caught you? Well, what really got me was actually real life. Um <sighs> Moose Army, which is the best corp in game, I joined on accident. Um, I was part of Pandemic Horde, and uh, in real life, <laughs> at Eve Vegas, I was uh, sitting at a table, two seats from uh, Gobbins, like fours down from Graf, and they just wouldn't talk to me. And that really, like, they didn't even wait for me for the group picture afterwards, after the dinner, right? So I knew then and there I had to leave Horde. Well... At the E-Vegas event, I get approached by one of the volunteers that says, Hey, do you want to go to a moose party? I have no idea what a moose party is. Uh, but, absolutely. Um, That's yeah. the answer yeah. to that question. I don't know. Yeah. It, it was Vegas. And I know some communities use terms like bears and cubs to describe or their members. Or donkey show. And, and I thought it was that kind of thing. And I was like, hey, when in Vegas. Yeah. So um, I, 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 did the full, bears. I did go fully on expecting to have gay sex. And instead, I joined the best corp in EVE Online. I don't know if that's better, but maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. You know, I'm not sure. Like, I, I mean, I, I would depend, you know. It depends I can on, totally on relate to you on the, like, <laughs> when you meet up with people in real life and there's, like, parties being thrown, it's the thing that'll, like, drag you in. So I'm I'm well known for being a person that has been to many of the goon parties, to the goons that, are, that happen here in Madison. It's bro parties with um, mittens every Friday. No, I don't. No, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> cool parties. dude, though. Fun, fun. <laughs> that guy on tabletop, like, fucking strategy mm. games. Holy shit, dude, don't. <laughs> but anyways you so it, it is really cool though like when you go to these like big events so you had gone to e vegas what got you how did you get to e vegas in that sense like what made you really passionate about eve online even getting to that point because that's a huge step like i've never gone to e vegas personally i've been invited i've wanted to go multiple times i'm poor I'm, and, I, and now i was frozen. very poor I, no until I, I, i'm with him now too and i haven't been either but i'm saying it now we have a podcast that you know some people kind of like and we've had some people on our show that are way more popular than us i think we have to we should yeah, be yeah. at e vegas yeah no we, i think it, well, yeah. I, yes I'm, I'm referring to all our guests of course <laughs> pretty much yeah <laughs> um but yeah what was the thing that really hooked you into eve online what'd you like about it well it's you know the story that you get to tell yourself um i started off as a high sec minor as we all do and joined a faction warfare um alliance on accident oh, really yeah, uh, you yeah, learn, learn the basics there. Stumbled the into faction warfare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it happens. Um, Did you get kicked out of Jitta, uh, or where, where, where were you stationed? <laughs> because that's always oh, like yeah. a like a like traumatic thing that happens to people that join like the Galente or the Mimitar. They're like, wait a minute, Jitta is Dude, no a more master race. Shame oh, the... on both of you. <laughs> oh. Um, actually, Gwen alliance, is actually a Mar. The alliance was, eh, I whip my slaves back and forth. So, you know, Amar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, one thing I have to say is that I really like fighting the Amar because I don't feel bad at all about, like, their oh, idea, yeah. ideology is totally something well, that is fun to be like, this is a bad funny. ideology. Is... Come on, guys. I mean, Gwen just, I just kill everybody in game. I don't. Gwen, you've been converted frozen. to a murderer. And that's that's the yeah. religion that we should all follow is murder, death, and now. destruction. <laughs> I mean, 
before the show you did kind of a walks by proxy by nice not stopping me yeah that was that was it that was a i mean i mean i've already actually technically like i ordered the death of galente during my fleets in the past <laughs> because they shot our lodging <laughs> so, <laughs> sure, I, mean... I, been there. Uh, I started the amara civil war in 2015 i was well, the first go. death yeah Mm -hmm. That caused the two major faction warfare alliances to go after one another. Oh, which nice. resulted in our alliance winning and just dominating the war zone. And oh, it got okay. boring. We won the Amar faction war zone. You so won even. Eve. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So looking for content, we joined um, the Fountain War, and that's where we first get into Nullsec. Um, our participation with the CFC at the time. So, yes, I do have goon history. <laughs> uh, we did really well in the Fountain War. You know, Test was the original too. enemy, and now I'm a... I was a space monkey. Yeah. Oh, SMA, I love you guys! <laughs> <laughs> I was, just for a minute, when I started, I was a space monkey. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, we were rewarded a oh. uh, period basis after the Fountain War, which we promptly lost. Uh, we then were given Cloud Ring, which we promptly lost. Um, <laughs> the entosis changes where you had to like toast stations if any of you remember that um, our station was the very first one to be toasted <laughs> <laughs> and you know we were a cool Nolseca our alliance we were getting stuff done so yeah I was very motivated to go to E Vegas to actually meet these people who were doing all this cool stuff so this is while you were part of Pandemic Horde right so oh uh, no this is uh, I whip my slaves back and forth Oh, okay, so you were still so. Oh, I didn't realize that I whipped your. Oh yeah, this back is pretty horde. Yeah, they I'm went, a whole player, man. They went. Uh, they went to Nullsec actually after winning. See, and that, and I do think that that is a good stepping stone. Like, I really do believe that faction warfare is a really great place to build up, and maybe to stick around, you have to. There's different ways. Like, I, I want to stick around in faction warfare, and I want, but I have to, like, base my whole thing on it. You know, Federation Frontline Report, I'm gonna be, like, talking about faction warfare every day when I'm, like, gonna be streaming it and shit, and I'm basing my stuff on, on living in faction warfare, but faction warfare is also an extremely great stepping stone to bring. First of all, if you've got, if you got a one-man corporation, you want to get extra people into your corporation, join faction warfare. Almost no, I'll, you are going to be competing with millions of other fucking corporations that are out in 0, 0.0, out in high sec, doing their own thing. There's not very many faction warfare corporations. And so when you start building up something, people want to join that kind of stuff. Um, and it's easy to build up a PvP corporation with faction warfare. So it's cool to see an alliance like move out to there. So, but before, when you were at faction or when you were at uh, FanFest, you said that you were part of Horde. So what ended up, how did you, how did you end up get part of Horde? Well, the CFC rebranded into the Imperium and they kicked us out of our space. Um, your beloved Mittens didn't get his book published and he punished the rest <laughs> of us for it. <laughs> uh, so our alliance was defeated militarily by the Imperium and... PL wouldn't have me, uh, Snigwafa wouldn't have me, because my kill board wasn't good enough. Well, now I'm number four all-time on test. I've been top of Z-Kill for like two weeks over the last five years. So who's laughing now? Because <laughs> nice. you're on our show. <laughs> love it. Love it, man. Beautiful. Uh, so, so, so you ended up with Horde, and then you went to FanFest, you, and you jumped in with, with Test. So tell me what what ha what's been happening since then. So like you said, you I know you've climbed the kill board, you've started kicking some ass, taking some names, showing that you can do what the fuck it takes in order to murder an Eve online. What was what's the what's the story of of Tess that you've had with it? It sounds like you got into them coolly. What happened since then? Oh, well, it's definitely the story of Moose Army joining Tess. Um back then they lived in Esoteria and we were assigned the northern part, which is very much in the range of Stain, the NPC uh, you know, Nullsec region. So we, for four years, had our own, like, proxy war between uh, Legacy and the Imperium with us, Moose Army, versus all of the Stain uh, allies to the Imperium. And that went on for years, uh, ultimately ending when we killed the Good Sax Keepstart. Nice. <laughs> and, and it was, you know, the very first uh, battles of World War B2 here was on Moose Army's front door. Um, 
I was called incompetent by Mittens on his show because I was the FC who was unable to kill the 70 Athenors they dropped in ATAC C in Northern Esoteric. Oh, only 70? Come on. Only 70. Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> only 70. So you've been called out and... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See that's 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 a level of fame right there. You're all in a video. Exactly. You know, that's like, what I'm there saying. you go. Yeah. There you know he brought the spotlight to you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you do after uh, seventy well, Athenors were dropped? What happened there? Well, of course, you know then the nip slip occurred and the actual war began. Um, I was one of the FCs that led the uh, destruction of period bases, killing all those Fortizars and of course harassing the Anzablexes every day, toasting all those iHubs. Um, after our victory there, I was then given the campaign of Southern Delve, um, particularly the, the UEXO Keepstar and like that theater. I worked closely with AARP and organized our victory in South Delve before, you know, M2 and then the loss of the war. Yeah, so that's a pretty big hit that you guys, I know Test has been in an interesting, what's, uh, from a core point of view, how do you, how, what are you kind of seeing, what's going on in Test right now, that, that you know, OPSEC aside? Well, oh, well, Moose Army has always never been, like, PvP first, we've very much been a null-sec cra crabbing type corp. Um, moving to Outer Passage has been actually really great, we're making Hand Over Fist and Isk, and the content comes to us. You know, the rumors come to us. We don't have to go anywhere. It's actually been rather fantastic. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, you guys have kind of put yourself in a position where you feel like you've been able to remake money, you're rebuilding. So is there anything, is there any announcements that Test is, is uh, making pub that have already been public? Not necessarily something that, that's uh, opposite, <laughs> but what what's going on in Test? What publicly are you guys saying right now? I'm sure there's diplomats you can talk to. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been up to then as an FC? What, what are, are, are there any yeah, um, like cool things that you've been personally doing recently? Oh, yeah. I'm, because there's been no real major conflict, we've really had a lot of freedom to go out and find our own content. Um, mostly it's dropping on bad guys who come into Outer Passage. Uh, we've done a little stint in Syndicate playing with the, uh, the folks there. But really just the freedom to go out and do the small gang pvp things and then when Tess does get a major strat off we get on those and get on a bunch of kill mills i gotta say though having free access to like an entire region of moons out of range of uh people who can jump on us is so good would recommend <laughs> <laughs> adds to the wallet i'm sure uh so what what are some of your opinions that you kind of have since you've been in faction warfare what what kind of what's your view you know, with all the information that you've kind of had, all the the fighting that you've kind of had, what do you? How do you view faction warfare in its current state? Oh, it is absolutely the place where everybody needs to start out. Um, I don't know. You don't even have to join like a faction warfare corp to go to the war zone and just get and fights. Yeah. And that is the coolest part. Learn uh, how to sit around plexes. <laughs> yeah, and if I understand that, you know. A, a T1 cruiser may be a lot of isk to, you know, people just starting out, but I really recommend grabbing those types of ships and just losing them over and over again. And hopefully oh, yeah, have some fun along the way, yeah. Um, and then when you do join a Faction Warfare Alliance or stuff and get those amazing uh, actual pushes to take systems, or do you still have to do the downtime bashing of iHubs, or did they change that? Um, you don't quite have to do them at downtime now, um, but uh, the, the bashing of iHubs is always a big thing. You always get some nice little fights usually out of that, whether it's pirates or, or the Keldari or the Mimitar or the, you know, whoever is, is you're fighting at, at that point. It's, it's always, because you know that there's going to be some, some ships on field just sitting there and a bunch of people possibly AFK after a while. So yeah, it's always some really good fights, but yeah, we don't, we don't have to do them at downtime anymore. I don't feel. Well, that was the most fun I had in the, my faction warfare days was the killing an I hub with 20 dreadnoughts during downtime. <laughs> <laughs> that is the thing. Yeah. You can definitely, when you just wipe it out right before, and then you're, you're perfectly fine because uh, downtime is going to save your, your dreads without any problems and you can sneak <laughs> in there and do that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. Um, so is there any current projects that you're currently working on? Is there anything that you're currently um, doing any, uh, do you have like a YouTube channel, anything like that? 
Oh, me personally? I've gotten into video editing during the, uh, the pandemic. I'm doing a, uh, like, meet your directors of Moose Army by giving them little 30-second silly intros. It's fun. You know, it's a hobby. Is there anything that... Is that posted on YouTube, or...? Oh, oh, no, please, no. I'm so embarrassed by what I've posted. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I'm sure it's fine. I'd love to see it. Um, so, do you have any memories of any, like, really, like, specific battles that you've led that just kind of, like, stand out as, like, the best of the best of, like, an example of what it's like to fight in a giant war in 0, 0.0? Oh, oh, 68 FT of the Fountain War. I was online from downtime to downtime in the Harpy fleets camping the, uh, test station. The staging station that was bubbled, we had 600 people on it for the entire length of its reinforcement. And I didn't go to bed. It was just so much fun. People undocking and killing them. God, I, I know people don't like the, you know, 1,000 versus 1,000 tie-dye fights, but they're so good. You get so many kills. Mm -hmm. And you become, you know, number top four on Z kill. So is that where a lot of, like, your kills are, are coming from is made uh, big, big, big fleet fights? And... Well, um, was it 2017, 18, there was the Grand Prix event where people would take shuttles and go to uh, different, you mm -hmm. know, locations. Um, during the event, I participated, just not in the way CCP uh, intended. I <laughs> smart-bombed 3,000 shuttles, and that kind of <laughs> padded the kill board a bit. Just a little. <laughs> that my, number one, my number one competition was bowheads scooping the shuttles. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Awesome. Well, is there any um, specific shout outs? Anything that you, any anybody that you want to shout out to at this point? Um, I mean, I love to do recruiting for Moose Army, the first corp to drop the Null Set Keep Star. That was us. Oh, the High Set Keep Star. That was also us. Wow, weird. Mm -hmm. uh, we built the first Icky Tursa. We got cool streamers like Iron Bank and Marquee Dragon on our team. You know, just we're kind of a cool dudes. <laughs> Do you have any, uh, does, do you, you have a specific website or anything that we can check out that we can post in the show notes for people? Uh, I'm afraid it's just the, uh, the test off, uh, the Moose Army in-game channels where you find all that information. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely put that information into the show notes here for you. Make sure that you guys, uh, get a little good shout out there for that. And, yeah, um, uh, anything that, uh, you want to talk about before we close up the show? Uh, well, close up the, the interview segment of the show. Uh, no, I just really wish maybe you guys get good and can actually beat me in a 2v1. There we go. That's, <laughs> yeah. Got out in, what, 16% haul or something like that? Yeah, yeah like 13. 13. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was 13. a good balls of steel, We'll get good man. next time. Always we'll get good. you next time. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we did get that. We did get you, but it was a different situation. Yeah, afterwards. well, somebody else got you, and then Samson yeah. kill horde onto it. And then oh, absolutely. I, I, I kill, missed it by I, half I a kill second. Horde. I, it reminds me of when I kill Horde on a, a test Nidhogger. <laughs> After it dropped us, the, like the night before on our stream, <laughs> it was the same one that dropped us. And Very they were nice just getting nice. blown up in Tama. So I was like, well, yeah, obviously I'm going to go shoot him. I, why not? I'm just so in a hawk. We're going to go ahead and move over <laughs> to the uh, news segment of the show. Um, if you want to stick around and <clears> talk <throat> about what's going on in, in EVE Online news, which is this, you know, minor you things that we're going to kind of talk about, you can hang out. Or uh, if you're planning on heading out, I guess we should have, which I normally should be talking to the people about what, the, <laughs> what we're doing before we're the show. We're working out. We, 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 this know, is like our oh, second oh, show. so We're doing yeah, it live. We're doing, we're doing it live. <laughs> we're working on it. We're working on it. But yeah, so uh, I guess we're moving on to the dev blog. Uh, uh, yeah, before you do that real quick, Seabach, do you want to stick around? No? Yeah? Yeah? I don't see? mind. All right. You guys yeah. seem like cool dudes. Yeah, I'm just gonna, with us. Chill. I'm just going to be dramatically do you know reading anything? this. Do you know anything about the updates that's going on right now? Oh, I do know that NullSec Alliances are thrilled with the Battleship buff. Uh, it is. He is. Everybody agrees that battleships Frozen. can, when this hits, can take on heavy assault cruisers. Let's Everybody fucking, is so thrilled. Yeah. Let, let's have battleships. <laughs> Come on, like, really, like, what? What is it called? Is it called cruiser? Uh, when you no, it's battleships, man. It's not cruisers. It's battleships. That battleship. You know, that's that's the game. Battleship. And it only is one. Anyways, Jeez, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so the dramatic reading. The road oh, sure. to FanFest. 
the new era approaches. <laughs> so, um, Fan Fest 2022. It's been over six weeks now since 2022 began, and it's already shaping up to be an exciting year for Eve. Fan, was, fan Fest will happen on Eve's 19th birthday. Ooh, happy birthday to Eve. Uh, and to get you into a new Fan Fest spirit, we are. There are a slew of new important updates coming now until the party at the top of the world in Reykjavik, 6 8 May, that will be covering this blog. So, um,. I'm actually now, now that just starting this, because there's a lot of stuff here, but I'm actually more interested in the, the battleship update now. Maybe I could find that here for us really quick. Yeah, if you if you go down, I think uh, there it there, is. There, the glorious battleship. That's, I'm just going to skip to that. The glorious battleship. We love battleships, and we know you love them too. They are some of the most versatile ships in EVE, and their legacy is packed with impossible feats and epic battles while battleships are fielded. They are currently lacking in both mobility and survivability to justify using them more. We want to change that. A new roll bonus has been stitched onto all battleships with increases, which increases the effectiveness of armor. This includes faction, tech 2. So all armor plates and bumps shields extenders by 100%. Large micro jump drives fittings will also be reduced uh, substantially. This applies to all battleship variations, including faction, Marauders and Black Ooh and Black Ops. Wow, okay. We can't wait to see the new battles you wage and stories you create using these ships. Okay, so it's a roll bonus. I think when, when we spoke offline it wasn't I, I thought you were just talking about like the plates in general, but it's a roll bonus. Nice. Right. So um, plates in so, general aren't being boosted at all. Like, no, 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 it's no it's, effect it's, on and it's it's a great idea. It's a battleship's roll bonus. That makes that makes sense because it's a fucking battleship. Right? Like 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 it, it's it's a it's not the biggest ship in the game, but it's like it's like the like when you think about you know subcapital, it should be the biggest not, ship nautical in the game, or right? any kind of battles in in any games. Like the battleship is you know um, like the 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 main focus. But what do you guys have to say about that? I, I, it, I sounded like Seabronk had had something to say about the um, the new updates to the battleship. Yeah, the math shows that the battleships after this change can compete with the munin meta uh, battleships can no longer just be instantly killed by 100 munins so we can actually <laughs> use them um, this still have the disadvantage of you know their maneuverability but it, they're so much more fun to fly <laughs> so make it more people on fleets even and they also do yeah. have the micro jump drive that they have on them so they do have the the added bonus of being able to jump 100 kilometers if they really need to which is without as long as they're not scrammed right so even if you're in a bubble and stuff you can get out well and using battleships does encourage using facts as logistics which does get more capitals on the field as well which knows like people love we love to drop capitals <laughs> on little gate camps <laughs> they do they do it happens i've seen it many times <laughs> so, so Abby says the battleship buff is very exciting and battleships uh, should not die to a frigate. Now, I'm not yes. necessarily against a battleship dying to a frigate, but I don't like the idea of a battleship dying to bombers. Like, they should have enough EHP, and I believe now, if, from what I was reading, is that they should have enough EHP to survive most non-super perfect bombing runs. Like... And a perfect bombing run might be, you know, it, it's like 100% perfect bombing run is pretty rare from my understanding. Um, but it's certainly against the skilled FCs of Test Alliance. <laughs> yes. So you're not you're not going to get bombed out of the world. Um, and then uh, Canuck Down Under says, uh, Woot, love uh, catching the faction warfare uh, <laughs> report. <laughs> Thank you. I Thank thought that you. was going to be a comment at first on Battleships, but then I started reading it. That's like, fine. Oh, it's just a thank you. Thank you. So and we, if, yeah. you, if you really want to thank us, get some mugs from the Federation oh. Frontline Report. <laughs> the advertisement good, for the Federation Frontline good, Report mug. Good morning, America. Or, no, shit. God, New Eden. It says it. New Eden. Universe. It says good or, New good, Eden. New, it says New Eden. God damn it, Frozen. Oh yeah, well, but that's one of a kind. That's one of a kind, though. That's one of a kind, and you need to Nike. auction that off at some point. You could probably make a lot of money. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's. Let's see. As far as updates are concerned, that was that was the one that I really wanted to make sure we saw. Um, let's see the road to yeah, what else fest. is. I don't even know what else is in this mystery mining. Mystery adventure. and mining. A significant update to the first hour of gameplay featuring a mysterious mining adventure is being added to the new player experience. Oh, okay, so they're adding like a, a, a new mission 
like a, for the tutorial. This portion of Eve's introductory experience will send you on a mining expedition fraught with intrigue and hints at the unfolding air storyline alongside Aura and the newly introduced Elias Pet Peltonen expect to learn the basics of mining in Eve's economy in an engaging story driven way. In addition to mining adventure, a feature that will help new players navigate the vast options Eve has to offer and find their true calling in New Eden is being worked on. This feature will be released later this winter. Yeah, because I don't yeah. remember I don't I don't remember being forced to mine when I started the game. Because like mm -hmm. you do like a bunch of other things. Um <laughs> That is true. I don't think you get forced to be mined. But uh we do have uh let's see here and um so Eve Necronomicon because my dyslexic brain can translate exactly right. that word. Necromina e come up. You're yeah. Uh it <laughs> says and maybe we see some nano BS coming back cuz with 800 plates you can get a uh, smaller penalty and they still have uh, the tank, and now equivalent to a 160 plate. That's a really good idea. Uh, um, no, they they wouldn't, right? Because it was 50% for plates. It's a plates. 50% per plates, but I mean, you're still getting a lot out of an 800. That would, yeah, that would be 1,200, but yeah, but, closer. Well, I don't know. I Is the math true on that? Because, I mean... Well, on. I don't know. what the, It says 50%. I'm going by percentages, right? Yeah, I but mean, you're like, not sure. It says shield, say How 100%. much HP does 8, 800 give? I don't know, comparatively to... It's not double, is it? True. Uh, true. I don't know what the place... Yeah. I'm looking at the numbers you're of You're just the, looking yeah, at the... I'm just, I'm just calling you out on that. <laughs> I don't fit ships. Frozen people do that for me. I have people that do that for me, okay? I, I just blow things up. That's my job. That's all I do. I kill things. You know this. <laughs> oh, interrupt, and I also read interrupt things. Interrupt Gamer also. Thank you for the follow. Um, but what we have real quick. <laughs> he we said have, nice uh, water bottle. He pointed out how awesome Seabronk's water bottle was. Interrupt. That's oh. inept. <laughs> it's inept. No, Frozen, you're inept. Inept at game. things. <laughs> Interrupting. Oh, there's another graphical update. Uh, here, let's watch this video. Oh, that's so funny. That's for the viewers, just a, really, there's nothing for the listeners on the podcast. It was, that was it's literally nothing. just a picture. It's just a picture of the fucking magnate. Okay, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's an explosion comparison though. Let's okay, see that explosion comparison. will okay. Well, we look. We see a little bit more lighting effect on the left hand side. And oh, well, that was the explosion that of something near you. I oh, guess okay. not. Not not of the ship. I was misled. One day we'll we were, read these were, dev blog <laughs> notes before well, it's we right get here. to them. Well, it's here. I haven't read it yet. Previously, <laughs> the reflections in Eve were based entirely on background of the scene. This included the nebula and distant central objects. Oh, okay. So now you're going to see reflections from explosions on your ships. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Resist mods are getting a boost. Where is this from? And we'll make frigates a little stronger. Yeah, they're rolling Resistance. back some of the surgical strike oh. resist nerfs. Yes. Yeah, bolstered bulkheads. I heard surgical about strike this. release introduced changes, and the resistance bonus is granted by all modules. This was meant to reduce the power of capitals during the era of super umbrellas and increasing the chance of scoring kills even on the losing side of a fight. While it's good that indestructible forces auxiliary indestructible force auxiliaries aren't commonplace today, it's also noted that some styles of gameplay such as wormholes. So and interrupt set, gamer parts. says because I'm bad at inept. the game. Inept. inept. God, you damn. interrupted. You're interrupted. You interrupted. <laughs> That's inept. <laughs> Uh, I'm, a, I'm. I'm just gonna drink my whiskey. You can read it. Not, inept gamers. I'm color. not really a human. Another dimension. <laughs> that word means inept. Shit. Oh, I can read Fuck. it. Also, don't forget the resistance mods with boozy. He just said, "Yeah." Oh, and inept gamer said, "Inept gamer," because well, I'm a, I am bad. Okay, okay. So literally, literally, he was just making sure you knew that he was an inept. I'm the bad, game. and I'm bad. I'm bad at the English language. Oh, well, this sounds interesting. Work will hot drop. Following, mm. following on from the March update, we will introduce a new industrial jump portal generator module enabling Oracle pilots to conduit jump mining ships near them. This module will work in a similar way to the Black Ops jump portal generator, allowing swift development to moon mining operations and more. Well, and they could also fit a bunch of, you know, like battle mining ships and drop them on somebody. It's I mean, true. somebody's thinking that. Somebody's absolutely thinking that. Yeah, the C type <laughs> crystals kind of are a thing already, right? <laughs> Blue, blueprint changes as mentioned in the winter status update we want faction ships dreads and other capitals to be out in space wreaking havoc on the battlefield via 
well orchestrated dread bombs or the means to that extent blueprint requirements will be updated prior to fan fest uh i'm not sure what the up updates are exactly there but uh structure updates so that that's a big keep star right there the fabric of space changed significantly when the first structures were released in 2016 uh and i believe we already established that um sea bronc had was in the first structure um that the, the first keep star right you said the drop the first keep star uh, in null sec <laughs> yeah we didn't get the <clears> null sec uh, okay yeah at the time the complexity of this change, the meta was almost impossible to grasp. Since their release, we learned a lot and made numerous updates. This coming April, we will see the next set of changes to them when we will dive into various core mechanics and structure modules. The changes will be highlighted as well as we get closer to the data. So that sounds like there's a lot of updates on the way for um Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna general. reveal a bunch of uh stuff at FanFest. Um that's yeah, and here's they're, the... they're holding their cards, you know. <clears throat> FanFest Reykjavik. And that's coming up soon. That's just a few months away. Not even, because we're at the end of this month. The new Ruikul Conduit Jump will be awesome, says Canuck Down Under. Nice. Dude, I would love to fucking go to FanFest <clears throat> in Reykjavik, especially. Um, I've, I've, the closest I've been is, like, is uh, Netherlands, not, not Iceland. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I am uh, for the first time getting my passport, so I will be able to. I need actually, to get a new passport. I'm going to be going to Athens. I'm really excited about Ooh. that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Good um, yes. So yeah, that is um, some of the the major things that are kind of going on with the dev blog. I think we'll talk a lot more about Fan Fest once it starts coming up, and uh, we we actually have more information. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about the battleship changes. I really, I like that battleships drop a frigate now, that battleships will have extra, yeah, I like that. um, you know, padding forgot. when they actually have plates or extenders on, um, it's, it seems like we're actually going to get it hopefully into an era where we can see a bunch of battleships shooting at each other. Uh, Let's do it. I'll be, I'll be out there shooting in the battleship. I have some <laughs> sitting there ready. Even our small gangs might pull out battleship. I have a rattlesnake in Space Detroit. No, nobody heard that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's nobody's listening. Um, and real quick, we are going to be doing another giveaway here. Um, I'm going to do it at the very, very end of the show here, which we're pretty much getting to. But uh, we're going to do our little outro here. But before that, if you put exclamation point plex, P-L-E-X, into chat, 500 plex to the person at the very end of the show uh, which we're pretty much getting up on um, so you get very little notice but for those who hung out this long and are live with us um, because one of the things that we are doing is we are broadcasting live over twitch um, so you know like everybody's listening to it live here it's doing it live you can't can't run now it's already been out on the wavelengths but you know minor edits might happen probably not because i'm lazy because that's why I do no, everything live. Li literally, I do nothing non like non pre recorded as much as I possibly can. Like the notorious news um, that I'm trying to like reinvigorate this concept of just talking about notorious, um, which is the next little part. Do you want to go ahead and bring up uh, notorious and <clears throat> let's just talk a little bit about notorious here? I'm trying. I'm. I really want to get a daily news section out on. I really think everybody should pick their favorite like every twitch youtuber out there should pick your favorite system and just report what happens in your favorite system every day because yeah so yeah notorious notorious news was created by the mr monopoly frank advice and um that was my inspiration i think to just like kill 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 in notorious but um yeah um this is notorious it is the jewel the crown jewel of black raz um as uh mr monopoly would say um it's been a lot of killing you know uh lately it's been pretty popular i mean it's it's low for you know most systems but like for notorious it's pretty beautiful a lot of stuff going on um i don't know what happened here but someone Poor lost battleship. their redeemer oh what, what was somebody it? died so they died it looks oh like it was here. a guardian gala it was like, okay so the gala I, I, I've had some fun with, I, I killed a, I sacrificed a Caracal to kill a Harbinger in one of these gala sites. <laughs> so it was oh, I guess it, but... that's another part of the news that there is the Guardian Gala is about to end. 
though. I think yes, the Guardian Gale is about to it. end. Um, we got to kill a few people. Let's see here. Um, I think it was. Oh, you know what? It was this Praxis. I think. Yeah, this Praxis came in and fought the Redeemer. What? 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 Or did Why the Redeemer? You... Did the Prax? It might have been the Praxis that was doing the sight, and the Redeemer oh, came in yes. to try and kill him. And then he yes, died. Yes, no, that's correct. Look, look here. Look at the Vindicator from the Guardian Gala. Sixty-nine percent damage, twenty-one k. I, I, yes, <clears throat> that was. This is a. This is a mistake. That's what this is. <laughs> this, this is an oops. Oops. This is a mistake because I literally so. Because you don't do a, I wasn't, the Redeemer is not what you use for a Guardian's Gala unless you're crazy. No, no, yeah, exactly. So, like, just to go back a little bit here, there was... I know it's not on the top right now, but this dude was in one of the, the Guardian Gala things, and, and I, I didn't know I, I, I know... I know that a lot of the, the um, NPCs in these events are dangerous, so I was like, I'm just going to take a cheap-ass Caracal, a uh, heavy Caracal, in here... And I managed to to finish off this dude's harbinger before they wrecked my face, um, because they immediately, of course, killed me afterwards. But guess what? He didn't get on my kill mail, so none of that, none of my death counted <laughs> on Z kill. It didn't count towards the stats. But um, uh, when it comes to um, that, that's that's oh, that hurts. Who's the head that of that? Fucking hurts. Who's the one that's at top of the kill board right now? I don't recognize. Um, Nori. Oh, they're Cartel. That makes sense. Oh, Shadow Cartel. Yeah. Yeah. Good. good no, good, not Shadow. Good. Nisua Cartel. Nisua. Nisua. Nis Sorry. It's the yes. Taurus, bro. Come on, I, bro. That's what I meant. I really did. Um, but yeah, there's some. So, the, so both the uh, the Praxis and the Redeemer were lost. But um, yeah, that sucks. I think I think what happened was they probably didn't think that those rats were that dangerous and they are so like when i when i when i killed the the harbinger i was when he was in hull i was already tackled and being fucking dps to shit by the rats so i was like oh shit okay maybe maybe we'll get him maybe we'll get him and i think it was it was similar to what happened before the show he was in hull and i was in hull and then he died and then i died like immediately afterwards um with uh, I think it was um, what's his name, Eddie Mon, that we before before the yeah, show. Yeah, we gave him since didn't did we give him <clears throat> plex? I gave him five hundred plex. Well, he got he won he won the the plex thing. Yes, he did. But I think I think Seabrook got one of the skins. I think so. Did you get the Raven? Uh, Seabrook is supposed to be getting like four destroyers. I thought oh, I gave you. I thought you I got the Thrashers. Five, yeah, the thrashers? five, yeah, five five Thrashers. I oh, it, it was. was it was the hundred million plex. That's what I won. Oh yeah, that, it was a hundred million plex. Hundred yes. million plex. <laughs> One hundred. Because well, we're oil tycoons. You don't I just want to. I, I do want to point this one kill out in the Tauros because we don't have the Notoros news anymore. And um, right now, maybe they'll come back. And none of the stuff up here, other than that, what we just saw was that interesting. But this poor, poor bastard <laughs> had two faction. Or strip miners equipped when he came through my gate. He <laughs> made I'm sorry. my gate, he says. When he, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, correction. When he slow boated into my gate, <laughs> he, he was on autopilot <laughs> in a almost one billion isk retriever. Like, what? Why would you do that? I just wanted it. It was fun. It was a fun little kill. He was angry afterwards, I think. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean this this there's a uh, yeah the top killer currently is Nori. Um, I've been off, so Gwen's down at the bottom now. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, See what happens good times. Notorious, come 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 to Notorious, and 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 we'll we'll all kill each other. It's a lot of fun. It's the way it's um, supposed to be: murder, yeah. and death, and destruction. Black and Rise then. in general. Come to Tama too. Tama's a lot yeah. of fun. Faction Warfare. Oh yes, Faction Warfare. This is a Faction Warfare podcast. Yes, I, I, I know nothing we just shared had anything to do with Faction Warfare right now. But no, that's not true. Uh, yes. we, had, we had a lot of <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean you know, we did, we did. But I meant, I meant the last bit in the Taurus was we're oh, supposed yeah. to be retaking the Taurus Frozen. It's a secret. We gotta, we gotta do some more. Uh, <laughs> we'll let them believe that we're not actually. <laughs> there um but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and close things on up here thank you all so much for watching 
thank you so much for coming on to hear uh, thank you yeah, dude it's been fun yeah this is uh, great to hear about uh what's going on out in zero zero and also to the hear the the story of coming from faction warfare out into a badass uh you know fleet commander for uh test alliance is pretty cool dude damn it um and trillions of oh, discs yeah. destroyed trillions oh yeah let me just I'll, I'll just post this up while we're at the end here yeah. I know. I just want to point out before this show, before we started this show, I didn't even know what a fuck was a mon- what a monitor was. He's I know, I three of them. I had, I had to look it up, and there's three on the top of your keyboard. I just wanted to point that out before we. Um, if you're interested in joining up with the war effort, put in an application to Golden Age Stories. We're part of the Federation Frontline. Um, we're the only members of the Federation Frontline. You can hop in, ass. hop into our public yeah. chat, Federation Frontline, at any time, and we Anytime. can. time. You know, it's a, it's an Intel channel for Galente and for anybody that wants to spy on us. We are live on Twitch every Sunday, twenty three hundred Eve time. That's about five p.m. Central time that we get things started. Um, you can listen to us on our podcast as well, the Federation Frontline Report. Um, not only are we on Spotify, we're on iTunes, but we are also on fucking YouTube. Our beautiful faces can be seen on YouTube as well with the whole that. video, you know, interactive and all this time that we spent on all these graphics. Um, you know, it's really great. Do you have any Aussie members of your core? Corps no, but asks, let's bring some. Under. I would love to get more Aussie numbers for fucking sure. If that's like the the dream of any faction warfare corp, to be honest, is to be twenty four seven plexing and kicking the living yeah. shit out of a system. Um, because if you can have twenty four hours, we have hour holes presence, in our time zone right now. We have we have holes. We, we have, have holes right now that you can fill. We have fill. a little bit of Germany, a little bit of UK. You can fill our time. holes. But Aussie is actually pretty weak for us. I would love to get more though, um, and I would. Yeah. It's just it's it's hard. Um, you know, we need an Aussie member. It's, it's hard. It's hard, and you can fill our holes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you um, heard it from our CEO. Right here, <laughs> right now. Frozen um, Fallout. Also, if you're interested in giving some news to the Federation Frontline Report, <laughs> we are looking into after-action reports. Send it on over. I'll give you 10 to 100 million is, depending on the quality of your report. Yeah. I just want to know about what the fuck's going on there. I just want give me the battle re- You know, if you just post just the battle report to me I, and then nothing else, I might give you 10 million is. If you just send in, if you do also like tell me what the fuck happened, what the beginning was, write me this whole fucking miniature short story. Well, you get a hundred fucking million isk, dude. Hundred million isk. And maybe you're like some newbie who's never fucking done anything, but just write a story about Eve online to the Federation Frontline Report. You get hundred million isk. Anyway, uh, we'll talk about it on the show. We'll t- um, you can go ahead and email me frozen fallout in game federation frontline report at gmail.com if you want to send it to us via email if you want us to get us the money to you gotta let us know what alt you want us to send it to um but yeah thank you all so much for uh hanging out here it's been a real blast we're gonna like hang out a little bit after this too we're gonna go fuck around in some zero point or zero point zero we're not we're gonna i mean fuck we, around could. In low sec. We, we could we could i mean we, we got filaments. filament we do have filaments we uh, could go fuck around or we have an there. fc down here if he's not busy maybe you know we could join him i don't know hey yeah you should let us join a, a test fleet as cameraman <laughs> <laughs> as camera i can shoot things i'm I okay can shoot. at shooting things. i'll shoot I things too. yeah as long as they're not eve. blue and 99.9999 percent of eve is not blue to us <laughs> yeah there you go exactly awesome well thank you all have a great night <laughs>